rise and fall of Golden Corral. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Everlasting Luxuries channel. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the buffet food industry and take a look at the rise and fall of one brand, Golden Corral. Stay tuned. In 1971, James Minard and William F. Carl conceived the idea that became Golden Corral after several unsuccessful attempts to acquire a franchise with other companies. Golden Corral was incorporated in 1972 and the first Golden Corral Family Steakhouse opened on January 3, 1973 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. The company soon expanded to nearly 500 locations across the United States. About 100 of them are company owned and the rest are being franchised towards. Business soon boomed and the company recorded gross sales of over $1.53 billion. The company had more than 500 restaurants by 1987. That year, they decided to begin franchising by licensing 55 distressed restaurants to their most successful general managers. However, things were not going to stay so rosy and problems started showing up, along with power staff training and nationwide concerns about the consumption of red meat and a shift in market shares to upscale restaurants. Sales were falling. The company added salad bars to all of its locations, sacrificed seating in the most and the other sacrificed part of the parking lot to make additions to the buildings. From 1991 onwards, the company started even doing things some really good business and began expanding even further. They started new restaurant concepts, added bakeries and started expanding the metropolitan cities and all over the United States. In 2001, system-wide annual sales exceeded $1 billion for the first time. Golden Corral was doing great having restaurants to 42 states covering most regions of the country aside from Oregon, Hawaii, New England and only two restaurants, the New York City metropolitan areas, none aside from the one in the Bronx and the low population states of Nebraska, Delaware and Wyoming. In some larger metropolitan areas, such as the San Francisco Bay Area, they had only one location and conquered Philadelphia, Washington, and New Orleans. There are only locations in the far-flung suburbs. The first Puerto Rican location opened on October 25, 2020, and the Cano Vanis with the plans to open more locations throughout the island. Like we said earlier, things were not all rosy and just recently in April, one of the company's biggest franchises, Platinum Corral, a Golden Corral franchise operating in North Carolina and Virginia, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection after closing more than half of its restaurants, management revealed. The company said it sought protection from creditors because of a drop in sales from the pandemic. The filing shows that the Platinum has just under $49.4 million in liabilities. It is believed to be the second largest franchisee with the Golden Corral system. 16 of the buffet restaurants have been permanently shuttered, according to the statement from the company, while two that were temporarily closed are expected to be reopened. Platinum said it tried to operate a number of its restaurants as cafeterias with limited indoor seating capacities, but the recast proved to be financially unsustainable. The company is the second big Golden Crow franchise to file for bankruptcy protection since the pandemic began. The system's largest franchise operator, 33-unit 1069 Restaurant Group, filed for Chapter 11 relief from creditors in October. It too cited a downturn from the pandemic as its reason. The buffet market has been particularly hard hit by the pandemic because of the signature serving style. Early in the COVID crisis, many states suspended their operation of serve yourself restaurants because of fears that model would foster the spread of COVID from one buffet user to the nether. Golden Corral initially closed all 35 company operated restaurants in the 490 store chain. In an interview with the restaurant business, CEO Lance Trainer said that about 290 units were open, with 40 of those operating as cafeterias. The chain has been experimenting with a number of alternative serving styles including drive throughs and takeout stations. It has also revealed plans to try a fast casual like service model where patrons give their order at a counter and take a seat. Platinum currently has six Golden Corrals open in North Carolina in the home state and four in Virginia. It anticipates that two more, one in each state, will open later this year. We strongly believe that restructuring will afford out the opportunity to successfully operate 12 Golden Corral buffet restaurants in North Carolina and Virginia for the long term. Bill Sowell, Platinum's president and CEO, said in his statement, but it is all doom and gloom for Golden Corral. The embattled operator of several upstate New York Golden Corral restaurants that shut down early in the COVID-19 crisis is making progress toward reopening some of them. A Saratoga company property was recently given approval to buy back the property out of bankruptcy and in May was approved for the largest single restaurant grant awarded in the capital region under the Federal Restaurant Revitalization Fund Program 2.54 million. All is not clear, he faces civil litigation and will also need to find hundreds of workers in labor markets so tight that some restaurants have reduced their hours. So as you can see, the restaurant industry is still reeling from the COVID pandemic that has now taken two years. The future still remains uncertain, but some progress seems to be made. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you all in our next video.